Right, so welcome to Clean Free Society. And today we, we visited a, re a resident of Kisi. Uh, he's going to tell us what he's doing and how he's using uh, agriculture to earn something up, uh, at the end of the day with zero usage of chemicals. So welcome um, there to Clean, Clean Free Society. Welcome. So you, you tell us uh, what is your name and uh, at the moment what are you doing? Thanks uh, once more. Thank you. Uh, let me take this opportunity to welcome you to my farm. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you and discuss one of the things. By name, I'm James Kopa Maman. I'm a resident of uh, Namaga village. This is Kau. This is my home. Mm -hmm. uh, I came here in 1994. And I started uh, farming as early as I am. I cannot remember it. I'm a farmer. I practice in horticulture as well as poultry. So, the particular crop I'm uh, undertaking for commercial purposes is as avocado. But I have other crops around for my own consumption. I have sugarcane. For my consumption, our bananas for my consumption, our other foods for consumption. So I'm basically involved in agriculture, uh, particularly as a cattle, because this is really interesting me, and I do believe in the future uh, is what will make me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sasa tunasaidia na mse. Mm -hmm. Akivanya akivanya hivi na mimi nafanya hivi. Mhm. Mm Sasa nikiona hapo tunatakiwa tufanye hii, mm -hmm. namwambia tufanye hii. Mm -hmm. Au naye aniambia hii ndio direction. Mhm. Mm Tunasaidiana kweli. Eh. Uh, now we like to go step by step. How do you first of all prepare your farm uh, for the all these and how uh, actually, do you go about, let's say, preparing the seeds for uh, for planting? Uh, first of all, let me start how I started uh, African farming. Mm -hmm. Initially, actually, at uh, the Arikao, mm -hmm. but due to hard work, I found it was not fine. Mm -hmm. Then a friend of mine introduced me to Asapokali. That's about three years ago. Since I didn't know more about avocado, mm -hmm. I told him to come and uh, show me what to do. Mm -hmm. So the money came. He told me the seeds. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we agreed. So we brought the seeds, around 50 of them, mm -hmm. and they prepared the farm. Mm -hmm. But as well time goes by, I started now trying to know what. I'm supposed to do of card farming mm -hmm. because I didn't know earlier how this thing done. Mm -hmm. So as time was by now, I had to search. First of all, I had to go to internet mm -hmm. to search about avocado, particularly has avocado, the one I planted. Mm -hmm. Now later, I had to seek advice from the experts. So I'm happy to say that uh, the experts came and gave me some advice. Mm -hmm. One, this plan, these foods are for export. Uh -huh. And one condition for export is that you don't use chemicals or pesticides. So I had to do what we call organic farming. So actually I use what I have from my samba. Because I've from uh, I've uh, had kept something for from my cow mm -hmm. as manure, mm -hmm. and I also manure from my 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 poultry is what I use. So from that now I'm undergoing training. Mm -hmm. Now I've known what a cattle is, how I manage it, mm -hmm. what to do, so that it can fit the conditions set by the government mm -hmm. for an export so that our market will not be 
affected because of going against their conscience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, uh, as you've just said, that uh, whatever you're planting, uh, especially the hash avocado, they are uh, they are meant for export. How or who introduced you to export? And maybe somebody is out there and you learn to also to export their uh, avocado. They might have hashi or anything else. How can somebody get uh, get into that uh, to that market? Thanks. Once, you know, the person who introduced me happened to know the people dealing with the hashi avocado. They had already they knew the exporters. Actually, somebody in charge of uh, horticultural crops in this year came to my place through somebody. And the people who actually prices exporters, so they know. So the person who introduced me actually is the one who again made sure that when my goods were ready, they said they were going after. I thought that actually I've been after one and a half years. That was the first harvest. So he also looks for those people, the companies, one of the companies in charge of the export. Mm-hmm. They came, and now they, when I was introduced, I became one of them. Now I'm in there, actually, I'm one of them. Mm-hmm. They know me as a farmer. Mm-hmm. So they usually come and they take when they're ready. We, we have people. Who, who are doing maybe they have some few hashi in their place do you think they or do you know any other way they can use maybe to enter into the uh, export market actually first of all you ask whether there is any other um, uh, food that can be exported mm-hmm. yeah food that can be exported we have a like, no even if we have a flat flat we are under we are under this one is also about sweat, but because we don't have uh, enough, mm-hmm. uh, people know it is not worth buying to export. Uh-huh. So mm-hmm. now, basically, people have actually embraced as a cut for export. Whoever is outside there mm-hmm. and we want to know how to actually know the exporters, they should go to agriculture officers. In our counties, you know, Agraja is now developed to a county. Yes. So within Agraja, around the world uh, offices, world level offices, there are Agraja officers there. Somebody will go there and contact them. Mm-hmm. Or they should go out and look, ask for somebody in charge of horticultural crops mm-hmm. in India, one year and PC. Mm-hmm. So that person will be able to ex- uh, explain to them how to actually come into the export market. How, what, even if we have five trees, mm-hmm. actually you can export because we don't have enough. And I would encourage people to go out and to plant more so that we actually uh, benefit sure. from this. Absolutely. So it is uh, one year and one and a half year. You've said you've been in the industry for three years and you started harvesting for after one and a half years. So it means the, the remaining one and a half year you've been harvesting, you've also started enjoying the benefit of uh, the hashi uh, avocados. So uh, what is the right uh, time to harvest uh, the, 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 the avocados? And uh, what can you tell uh, about the harvesting of, uh, uh, of the hashi avocado? Actually, the first fruits actually appeared after nine months. But because uh, it was only one tree, mm-hmm. and after one and a half years, that's when now actually at quite a number, I was able to have uh, about 100 kilos. Mm-hmm. Uh, since then, I have harvested. I have harvested. Mm-hmm. And actually, the mat, uh, it is really bay. Mm-hmm. Uh, what it needs to be done is to tend it mm-hmm. so that you get enough. And now may I tell you after three years, mm-hmm. I can say on average, my production is about 1,500 kilos. Mm-hmm. And you can imagine, assuming in, uh, nothing happens, because uh, we, there are things that are beyond our control, like now we are nature, we have pests, mm-hmm. we have diseases. Mm-hmm. Assuming everything would have been okay without any of those problems. 
I don't know, I could be earning, I could be saying, enjoying from the 1,500 cars. All the same, mm -hmm. whatever I got for exports mm -hmm. is was enough. So what happens, mm -hmm. actually, they usually come and they check. Because Avocado export is uh, regulated. Mm -hmm. There are times when the government actually is mm -hmm. The aim is to make sure that people don't actually invest my immature fruits. Mm -hmm. So, on average, they usually start investing in our area from March mm -hmm. all the way to around October. So, in between, they do it. But they won't just start uh, investing. They must do survey. Mm -hmm. So that they check whether they are ready for export because they are specific. Uh, they want to work about Chukura climb up, they just want to go climb up. Mm -hmm. So that it can avoid for. So it's be between between twenty-two and around twenty-six. That's when it's good for export. Otherwise, below that they wait. So they will check and realize that when they are supposed to be ready. And then they will come because they know I'm in the bank, they know me as one of the farmers, so they just come. In any case, even even it's somebody in charge of culture in the town, mm -hmm. uh, will also call me and ask me whether they are, the folks have been invested. If not, then he will look for somebody again because he knows the exporters. Uh -huh. yeah. So, uh, other thing is. Uh, Maybe do you, is there any season that they are supposed to plant the, the avocado or um, is there any climate that suggests that we plant the avocado or how best do you know as far as uh, the planting season is concerned and the type of climate and the soil that is concerned for, for the avocado? Actually, they usually do, you're supposed to do pH, you're supposed to actually test our uh, our soils to see what it misses. Mm -hmm. But from uh, what I've known, avocado is sold most everywhere. Uh -huh. Because we have avocado in South Nyanzi, we have avocado in the Central, we have avocado in the Rift Valley, we have avocado in my neighbor, so you know, those areas we don't have the same uh, uh, climate. Mm -hmm. But what matters when you are planting? One thing is water. The food, this, this plant needs a lot of water. Mm. So you must make sure you have enough water. Otherwise, you cannot get any. So you can plant in as long as you are able to water the, the seeds when they are growing. So water is important. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will be disappointed. All right. So um, we, we know that we plant the avocados. Uh, what is the right spacing for the avocados when one wants? Maybe they are at, at the starting stage and they want to plant the avocados. So, what is the right spacing and uh, the right procedure to plant them? Actually, that's a very good question because had I got the information enough, I could have planted the way I planted them. Mm -hmm. uh, the top mine is between is, is actually 15 feet apart, mm -hmm. but I would say. Yeah, someone who has not planted and want to plant, mm -hmm. I would advise him or her mm -hmm. the space to be at least a minimum of 20 feet. The minimum of 20 feet. 20 feet uh, apart, so yeah, that but, is 20 yeah. feet square. Yeah, and uh, then when planting, plant them uh, in a diagonal way. Uh -huh. and like mine is square. Mm -hmm. So when it is diagonal, so it is better because the, the other space can be able. So uh -huh. I would advise. Uh -huh. At least the minimum is 20 feet, mm -hmm. and then you plant the organic uh -huh. so that you can be able to benefit. Because these are trees. At one point, they, because even when they grow, you know, they need some space for higher aeration mm -hmm. as well as uh, light. Mm -hmm. That's how, be. so that's what they will take with people. And always, when you want to buy, just buy, I mean, you want to plant, mm -hmm. buy seedlings from actually. Certified, uh, I mean, licensed mm -hmm. nursery people mm -hmm. or nurseries. Mm -hmm. Don't buy from mine. People are bought, grow, somebody can cheat you. Mm -hmm. Like for my case, I had about five of them, which are the uh, and us. Mm -hmm. So I would prefer you buy from licensed nurseries so that you can be able to get the benefits.
Sure. So uh, I've seen uh, most of your avocados are at a level, and we know, as we know, avocados go to a uh, very great height. So my question is, or on behalf of those people who are uh, out there, what do you do to ensure that you maintain the height of these avocados? One, uh, when you are planted, actually the moment they are about slightly less than a meter, mm -hmm. you pinch mm -hmm. so that they start uh, put, uh, uh, putting your branches. Mm -hmm. Now, as they keep, keep on growing, mm -hmm. also keep on pinching the, the, the branches. Of bats, uh, yeah, the parts. So that it actually doesn't go very far. Uh -huh. So that they can protect. So that's what you really do is to pinch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you start to pinch right from uh, when it's about, it's about uh, three feet, uh, at uh, minimum, mini highest. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we now uh, like uh, you maybe to explain to the person out there who is wondering how will they prepare this thing and how will they control uh, the, the avocado to maturity. Uh, starting from the way you control from those uh, few moments of dry season, uh, the way you mulch, Maybe how you protect the trees from that uh, 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 sunlight uh, during that very hot season or during the uh, the course of the day to ensure that it has reached to that level. Uh, one, mm -hmm. actually, these avocados don't have what happens. Mm -hmm. so their roots are just up. Mm -hmm. So one thing, once you have started this, then you must undertake marriage. Marching around the canopy because the roots go across, meaning where the canopy reaches, that's where the roots are. And once you have done the marching, then you are able to conserve uh, water. And then your fruits your, your, will continue. But you must make sure that when it is exposed, for example, particularly the, the stem, is exposed to very high time, meaning hot season, like mm -hmm. during uh, January, March to March, mm -hmm. then apply what we call uh, white wash. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't have white wash, you then can use uh, paint. Mm -hmm. uh, this the normal paint, water. Uh -huh. yeah. So that you, you paint there to up Avoid as a the, yeah. the, the direct sun rays and to reflect away the, the heat yeah. and such kind. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So something else is uh, that I've seen we, you are not applying any chemicals, you don't spray with anything. Uh, would you maybe kindly uh, explain to those people who are out there who are listening to you, who are watching you and get to know how do you control the pest uh, to ensure that it meets the standard of ex uh, the export standards and maybe to ensure that we don't consume these chemicals that others are consuming out there? Well, that's a very good question. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are dying because we are taking the chemicals to our bodies. Mm -hmm. uh, now that they have known what to do, we don't apply any chemical at all. If I spray, I spray fertilizer, organic fertilizer. Mm -hmm. We have uh, organic fertilizer to the earth. Mm -hmm. That's what I can spray. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm applying in fertilizer, mm -hmm. if I have to apply fertilizer, it must be organic fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I have a lot of manure mm -hmm. from my poultry, mm -hmm. and there are people. I get for a mini from cows. Mm -hmm. And also the reefs around here. Mm -hmm. Anything coming from around, mm -hmm. I make sure I just cover my, my work. So I'm only using actually natural things for as, 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 as actually as the fertilizers. Mm -hmm. Now, one problem we have with this is actually pests. Mm -hmm. We have two, we have a lot of pests. Mm -hmm. There's one we call mm -hmm. uh, fruit fly. Mm -hmm. Also, we have what, there are certain more, there's a moth. We are referring them to us, uh, FCM. Mm -hmm. These are the ones which are dangerous to our uh, fruits. Mm -hmm. So, to control that, because you don't apply any pests at all, mm -hmm. we use what we call certain traps. Mm -hmm. 
we have traps special mm-hmm. for FCM, mm-hmm. those moths, mm-hmm. and we have also traps for fruit fly. Mm-hmm. At the same time, we are also apply certain uh, stickers. Mm-hmm. We have two types of stickers. Mm-hmm. We have a blue sticker mm-hmm. and we have a yellow sticker. Mm-hmm. The yellow sticker also t- uh, controls flies or, or insects. Mm-hmm. insects. Yeah, particularly like now white flies and others. Mm-hmm. And also the red, the, 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 the blue one actually controls particularly trips and sometimes other, other, fly, other flies mm-hmm. or even uh, fruit fly. Mm-hmm. So they really assist because now you don't they really control it. But you must make sure mm-hmm. you do that in order to benefit. Particularly when you see the browning, mm-hmm. then you use the stickers. Uh-huh. When they have started uh, so making fruits grow, then you can also make sure you have your FCM there mm-hmm. and at the same time fruit fry traps. Uh, right, so uh, at least we get to learn that uh, despite that the challenges are there, uh, we get to know how to protect them and uh, avoid using the chemicals. Uh, there is, a, I've seen a around the farm i've walked around i've seen that you almost have zero plastic zero in uh, polythene papers in you in your farm uh, how do you manage that and uh how what's your message to those people who let their pla- the plastics and uh, polythene actually they use their farm as the dumping site for such what's your message to them and how do you control your my friend we need to live in an environment mm-hmm. which is actually conducive to us mm-hmm. Uh, for a long time, not even now, mm-hmm. for many years, I really don't leave anything to do with plastics in my samba. Mm-hmm. What I shall do is I just go around every now and then to check mm-hmm. whatever has been grown, brought in by wind or somebody has thrown it into the samba, mm-hmm. I collect mm-hmm. all around. So I keep them somewhere because we are supposed to have a mean a means of what you are exposing. Mm-hmm. But in the absence of that now, because when you have mass it, mm-hmm. I do what I think, even if it's not good, mm-hmm. it's fair. Mm-hmm. I ban them. Mm-hmm. But it is not my wish that I should ban them. Mm-hmm. If there was another way of exposing this one for another mm-hmm. But otherwise I might bring them together. Mm-hmm. I go around every now every time I walk my hand, I don't have any plastic at all. That is in my tech. Actually, I hope if you, you are going to my samba, you will see, you put in different that's, that's That's actually true. I've, I've witnessed myself as I was walking around the, uh, your farm. So there is another thing that, and uh, whatever we are doing, we don't, uh, we can't fail to encounter some few challenges, starting when it was your first time. What the ch- uh, are some of the challenges that you encountered, and how did you uh, manage to uh, over- overcome them? Uh, well, actually, challenges are there. Mm-hmm. Uh, from us, we count the challenges. Sure. One, these this, this traps, mm-hmm. uh, you need money. Mm-hmm. They are expensive. Whatever you do is expensive. Mm-hmm. So, if we could be on a way of getting them, they'd be cheaper. Mm-hmm. Two, you know, we have natural calamities mm-hmm. like hailstone. Mm-hmm. You don't control the hailstone. Mm-hmm. That one will affect you. Mm-hmm. And as I was saying, this, this trap, I mean, this uh, pests, this pests, these pests are actually a problem, mm-hmm. but all the same, we must do. And they, you know, and unfortunately, like Marcelo Mama, they uh, who, con- who does actually mm-hmm. use these uh, traps. Mm-hmm. So, and we have so many people around here who have this chumbo avocados, mm-hmm. and those are the, that, that's where actually the source of all because of these the pests. Yeah, flies. Yeah, mm-hmm. flies. So that's a challenge, mm-hmm. but I do believe the time. Because I'm using this one, mm-hmm. it might come to a minimal level. Sure. In any case, a human being, you cannot do without them. Yes. Sure. And of course, the market sometimes when it is closed, mm-hmm. you know, they might close a market when you are when you are full uh-huh. And you know, 
being a controlled uh, kind of uh, export, mm -hmm. then you will suffer. Sure. Because uh, it's a new crop. Many people don't understand uh, the goodness of us, avocados. Mm -hmm. They are small, mm -hmm. but very qualitative. Absolutely. And people are used to so big. So when you take the market, somebody who will prefer the bigger one, mm -hmm. without realizing that the smaller one is actually more nutritious mm -hmm. than the other one. And it's also even uh, free from the chemicals. Yeah, again, again, yeah. even they might be using the chemicals uh, to control the years. That's right. uh, actually, we we pleased with the kind of uh, farming that uh, you are doing and everything that uh, you, you, you are doing around. We've seen it is more than a hash avocado. We've, it is more than any other fruit. We've uh, witnessed so many other fruits around. Now, uh, before we even move further, there is that way of drafting maybe how do you do grafting and whom do you suggest to help us in grafting for those people who would like to do it for the first time and uh, how do you go about it uh, one as i said earlier mm -hmm. you know you want to buy you buy from registered or ranced mm -hmm. nurseries mm -hmm. because we don't just buy or graft in our mm -hmm. you must first of all know the source of the root mm -hmm. You must find where did this person get the fat, the roots. Mm -hmm. That is the word, the, the, the matter, the matter, matter of plants. Mm -hmm. Where you got the seeds from. Secondly, where did you get the carvers mm -hmm. or the 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 the, 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 seed, the, the, the suits mm -hmm. to graft? Mm -hmm. So I would require, if you want to buy, mm -hmm. you just go to somebody who has avocados to advise you on how to get the best or the right seedling because everybody you knows this, 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 these are a great uh, danger you know because if for example you are buying a, a seedling at one at minimum 120 or 150 mm -hmm. the ones who are not uh, strong enough mm -hmm. up to 300 mm -hmm. okay. and then somebody sells you something not good you read it sure so better you bought somebody who has uh, done this kind of device so that you buy the best uh, seedling that will give you the best in terms of production because some actually are not the best because sure. they carry sometimes they carry uh, you know you know what you buy you also carry diseases mm -hmm. so you might look for somebody whereby you are sure this is this is free mm -hmm. then you will be able so i would prefer don't just buy alongside the roots mm -hmm. just if you don't know look for somebody who has done a card or farming mm -hmm. or you go to somebody in touch of uh, culture in the ministry mm -hmm. ask them they would advise you and they would write the right place. Absolutely. That's a nice uh, uh, advice to the, those people who are maybe planning to have it because they can actually go anywhere to pick the, the, the maybe the seedling or uh, to just grab for themselves thinking that it is actually only to find that they've just done something that is very wrong. Now, you've just talked about the expert uh, part that uh, they, they come, uh, they are uh, consulting an expert. And maybe we'd like to know who is that expert maybe who's been helping you in monitoring your your, your crops and uh, how frequent do they come and uh, maybe everything as far as the experts are concerned who ensures that your crops are doing well. Actually, I, have, uh, I can say you have, got two, you, have two, you have somebody called an agronomist, mm -hmm. somebody who knows about diseases, somebody who knows about uh, out control is the one who actually supplies us with these trucks. Mm -hmm. He usually comes here mm -hmm. to check. So if there, there are problems, he can advise. Mm -hmm. And we have somebody in charge of also culture mm -hmm. who can be able to tell me where I'm wrong, how to take care of the farm, what am I supposed to do. Uh, they usually come. Mm -hmm. One, once they know you, but somebody like now, the old, somebody in charge of culture. You know, once he has, he has known you, he will be calling. You just call him until you come and see, you just come. Sure. And sometimes he, they can organize, he can organize himself and come and check you doing the right. Because his aim is to make sure mm -hmm. whatever crops 
all the foods we are really producing as far as avocado is concerned mm -hmm. is the right one and there's actually the best and it meets mm -hmm. the conditions set by the exporters or by the, by the importers mm -hmm. so that we don't actually serve our market because we will we export something bad then the whole market will be affected so they are always here but initially you must look for them you cannot know that you have this unless you look for them sure and once they know you now uh, you become they become part of you mm -hmm. so they usually come here and i'm um, really happy that i've learned a lot from them sure now uh, as far as you've talked about learning uh we know that we can't learn by that only because we have a lot to learn we have a lot of dream to uh, dreams to achieve uh, other than uh, the the experts who come here how else do you get to increase your knowledge uh, on the crops that you are uh, farming under the general idea on agriculture one actually we have conducted there there have been a lot of uh, seminars mm -hmm. now that i have been known as one of the farmers mm -hmm. when there is a seminar uh, when the seminars been conducted to train people learn about the avocados, mm -hmm. they usually call us. So I have also attended various seminars or trainings about the avocado. At the same time also now, I do my own search through internet mm -hmm. to see what am I not doing? Am I doing the right thing? Mm -hmm. How do I do it? Mm -hmm. How do I improve it? Uh -huh. So apart from the knowledge I get from training, mm -hmm. I also do my own research uh, through internet so that I can be able to know. Because there are those who started early, mm -hmm. you can tell you. So I keep on learning and I have to do what, do what my knowledge uh -huh. on avocado through this forum. Uh -huh. Yeah, now we get to understand that uh, that also helps in the society and uh, general way of uh, growing as a, as, a, as a farmer, whether you are still in which part of uh, the country. Now we have. Um, uh, how do you we, we know that the market is there but uh, as far as you uh, uh, you are exporting we have so many people who will come uh, in between saying that they are part of that thing uh, maybe they are doing also exporting how do you eliminate these intermediaries in the market uh, uh, aspect uh, that's a very good actually the, the, the problem we have uh, as farmers is middle mm -hmm. These people usually exploit farmers. Mm -hmm. But the funny thing is, uh, for us, uh, avocado, we are able now to grow. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, we have uh, these experts. Mm -hmm. Somebody in charge of, I told you this, somebody in charge of uh, the culture of property. Uh -huh. That person knows who the Chilean exporters are. Mm -hmm. So when we discuss, can tell you, certain exporters look as good mm -hmm. than the other. Mm -hmm. So they usually come. But if they are not actually uh, people we know who are, uh, who, got, who, are who have a name, mm -hmm. we don't. Uh -huh. We want to avoid mm -hmm. uh, that. What we intend to do actually as farmers, we are planning, because we are farmers in, in this county mm -hmm. and Manila county. Mm -hmm. So we want to form, we are planning to form a corporate. Mm -hmm. uh, this corporate now, will be actually our voice mm -hmm. so that it, no we can only negotiate mm -hmm. because we have learned from uh, other areas mm -hmm. uh, so like people from Embu, mm -hmm. they have a corporate and they are selling direct mm -hmm. and they are really earning uh, a lot of money per kilo that when uh, we export to we, 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 give, we sell to exporters mm -hmm. so that's what we are planning to do so that we eliminate these uh, middlemen and uh, people we okay. don't we don't know we told them those sure. people who are trying to capture us on our sweat. Actually, you people are thinking in a way that uh, you're going to make the society uh, better. We we like the way the, the you people are growing as farmers and uh, the way you are doing things. We've seen that we are doing things in a way that it doesn't affect us and it doesn't affect our our farms. Now, what's your message to the researchers as far as we get that to understand? We have a lot of things that we can do it in a better way. We have uh, things that maybe could even uh, uh, actually eliminate all the problems that we are having as far as the pests are concerned. And uh, But so far, we don't have that uh, solution. Actually, what I can say, Kenya is uh, as a pool of uh, very, very learned people. We are professionals in every area. Mm -hmm. 
I would suggest to, if I had the power, I would actually wish that our system were running. Mm -hmm. Because that's where we have the crop, the people who can money, who can take this country. Mm -hmm. They wanted to do a lot of research in terms of how to eliminate pests and diseases affecting our farmers. Mm -hmm. And for so doing, we will do away with chemicals. And by doing away with chemicals, then we are to have a good start. Because chemicals affect us, because we take the foods. And we are sick because of these chemicals. So if they will do a lot of studies on how to do, what to do, so that we don't use end pesticides, they come up with something that they can actually attract. Sure. Even if it is brew, uh, other plants mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. so that they can do away with pests and diseases. Such like that we don't use end pesticides. And actually, they have the potential and they have the knowledge. If they do that, that's what actually as far as we need. And that's what we will also actually, even your blast about it. Sure. Because we don't want to, we want to eat something good. Ah, yeah, I'm telling you, I eat something good. Mm -hmm. uh, I eat water, I eat, because we don't use any chemicals in this one. Mm -hmm. Where there is fruit, uh, fruit, I mean, uh, vegetables, we don't. We just enjoy. Actually, that's that's uh, that's true. From uh, the way we've uh, walked around, we've seen the way things are done, and nowhere I've seen uh, any signs of chemicals being applied. And I'm even uh, wondering, do you have a pump around? A pump. I have a pump. Mm -hmm. One, I usually use. Uh, we have a uh, one like uh, uh, folio. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's, That's one that I only put it specifically, mm -hmm. uh, and it's once, but when they are flowering, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, when they are flowering, oh, we, wow. use, we use, we use, actually, is uh, the, 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 I don't know how you can call it, the sink and the bottle. Uh -huh. We usually, that, that's a volume. Sure, sure. Uh, so, uh, the rest I've seen, I've seen how you, you, uh, your vegetables are doing, the girls and uh, the other uh, traditional uh, vegetables, uh, uh, traditional yeah, vegetables, the way you, you're planting them, and they are really doing well. The way they, you're keeping your, your, uh, the other stocks to ensure that you have manure is the way you're utilizing uh, uh, the, the leaves from the, your, the plants and everything to ensure that you have enough fertilizer. Uh, one uh, last thing before we, we wind up is that um, uh, we've seen um, how you you dying are you you're doing the, the fertilizers uh, how, how, how do you go about it to ensure that you have enough of them to do your work? actually anything from plants here mm -hmm. is, 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 is is kept it's not wasted mm -hmm. if i have a bit of maize stocks for my own mm -hmm. i don't give out this Mm -hmm. Even grass around when I, when I clear my compound, the grass is part of manure. Mm -hmm. Nothing comes, nothing actually is wasted here. Mm -hmm. Anything that erodes is kept and is actually taken to shower. Mm -hmm. So apart from uh, the, manure, the, the, the manure from cows and uh, poultry, mm -hmm. the leaves here, mm -hmm. leaves from uh, bananas. Leaves from uh, from uh, Sibakin, mm -hmm. they form part of manure uh -huh. because they I use it uh -huh. for marching, uh -huh. and then it and then it, 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 it rolls. Now there is one important thing we've left. Uh, there is that weeding. Uh, how do you weed in your farm to ensure that you don't interfere with the, the roots of uh, the, the the plants? Actually, most most of the time, I actually clear, mm -hmm. I clear the, the, the bushes. Mm -hmm. But if I'm forced to do a bit of weeding, mm -hmm. I usually use a chamber mm -hmm. just to, just like clearing. Mm -hmm. But I don't till. Mm -hmm. Because if I till, I will cut the, the, the roots. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm very careful. And if I'm able to do something, then I can use a pork chamber. Mm -hmm. 
because of hope team they cannot be able to to cut the cut the teams. So we have kept you uh, here for long than uh, than enough, and uh, we are very sure that we are going to interact with you even more uh, in future and get to know how we can give the solutions to what you people are going through, especially uh, the, being uh, bearing in mind that we visit, we have already visited you. We know the situation you are in. And uh, we're going also to check on some other aspects, how we can be of important to you. But uh, we would like to you to give a message to the youths who are out there, the society who are out there, who thinks that uh, there is, uh, they don't know what to do. And uh, you would like to instill this message of agriculture to them. What are you going to tell those people who are out there? as far as agriculture is concerned. Uh, this is the message to so many of our people out there who are not actually making use of their funds. It is true so many people think there is no job mm -hmm. or there are no jobs. Mm -hmm. My farm is not big. Mm -hmm. This is a cow and have an acre. This is a an acre. People have so many. You, you don't, even if it's have an acre, you can be able to sell. Please go and try something. If you have something small, put about five to six avocados, mm -hmm. as avocados. Mm -hmm. If in a community you are a ten of the, of the youth, mm -hmm. and this there's a piece of land there, ask your parent to give you a small place. Mm -hmm. Just plant five to six each, each of you. If you are a ten, that's six. six. You will really benefit. And that's one way you can. There's a lot of work here. Mm -hmm. Avocado base. Mm -hmm. If you are selling this avocado at five, at, 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 at an average of ten one piece, mm -hmm. and is all uh, uh, sixty per per kg, mm -hmm. and there are five of them. That's man. So instead of loitering, please mm -hmm. make a trial. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you try something, you will see the more. But you have to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. Ask your parents mm -hmm. to so give you something small, mm -hmm. like a quarter maker, put six to or ten of them, mm -hmm. and in the next one or two years, mm -hmm. you are the chamber days. You are enjoying your money. You cannot be working. Actually, in the next five years here, mm -hmm. well, you have seen. Mm -hmm. Even my own son. Mm -hmm. Might come when I'm gone. Might uh, might come and do other things. Mm -hmm. We'll just take care of because it will actually pay him. Sure. If I get five thousand kilos mm -hmm. in a year, mm -hmm. and I'm given a thousand, I mean a hundred a kilo. Mm -hmm. How much is that? That's half a million. Yeah. A year. Sure. So how about our young people? Please, all the people my age. Mm -hmm. Don't depend on your kids. Mm -hmm. Your kids have their own lifestyle. Sure. Brands have your this mm -hmm. avocados. Just come together, about ten of you in all or uh, five of you. Mm -hmm. Plant and you will see. And then at the end of the day, that community will be transformed. Sure. Nobody will be a beggar. All of us will be joy. Absolutely. Thanks. Uh, najua kwamba mko na watoto ambao wako pengine shule wengine pengine ama wamemaliza je uh, mnaambia tuseme watoto wanasaidia katika nje ipi na mnatumia ni hii mbinu ambayo mnaweza kutumia kuhakikisha kwamba mmewalisha na mmejibisha ama mnafanya vipi na wazazi wale wengine wanafanya vipi watoto mm -hmm. wetu si wa ndogo mm -hmm. ni wakupu wamesaa maliza shule mm -hmm wako huko nje wakitafuta lisiki. Mm -hmm. Sasa at uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh, tunashukuru sana kwaona kwamba kitu mnachokifanya ingekuwa ni wazazi wengine wangekuwa wameketi wanategemea watoto wao wafanye na kila kitu. Je, utaambia nini wazazi wale ambaye pengine wako katika umri wenu ambaye pengine wa umri umesonga, watoto wamemaliza shule? Uh, lakini wanatulia tu hawana kitu cha kufanya. Ningewaambia nini ili waweze at least kufanya kitu katika jamii. Unajua rudi kwa Biblia mm. na ambiwa lazima tufanye kazi. Ni kweli. Kwa sababu uwezo wakaa chini mhm mm mtoto. Mm -hmm. Unajua mtoto naye kuna mahitaji yake ya kesho. Ni kweli. 
anataka ku kujijenga mm-hmm. na sasa ingine pengine hiyo mtoto hata anjapata kasi mm-hmm. pengine ni kuaswa na aso huko nje ni kweli sasa lazima na wao umpatie nafasi na yeye mm-hmm. ajijenge lakini mm-hmm. wewe msasi kuwa uko msima na uko na nguvu mm-hmm. jaribu kufanya kitu kwa Mungu ame, amefariki na na msuri mm-hmm. at jaribu kufanya kitu kwa samba yako uko uko na kasamba mm-hmm. pata kitu mm-hmm. Mali utaemewa ndiyo utamwambia hapa nimeremewa uko mm. unako na shilingi 5 unisaidie. Na mm. mtoto akiona kweli wasasi wanafanya kasi. Ah ikuwa kona atakosa kupatia mm. lakini mm. lakini usitegemee watoto kwa sababu watoto mm-hmm. nao wako na mahitaji yao. Mm-hmm. Eh, we we are glad to uh, have you. We are glad for welcoming us to your environment. Uh, we so glad from you. We wish you the very best of luck in uh, whatever you're going to do. We are going to